Hello everyone, and welcome to this Base44 tutorial of how to work with your workspace. To test the abilities of the workspace, I'm going to create a simple e-commerce site where I can sell my old clothes. This will allow us to really understand the abilities of the workspace. Now for this simple store, I'd like to add an about page, since I feel like my story can help me sell more clothes. Even though I could work on this site some more, I actually want to show you the abilities of the workspace. So let's jump right into it. When we enter our workspace, we're going to see we landed on the overview tab which has quite a few cool features, but we're going to start with app visibility. This affects who can see my app when I publish it. As you can see, by default, I would need to continue with Google to see the app, but I can also change the app visibility to public, no login. And now, when I publish, you can see that I'm simply sent directly to it without needing to continue with Google. Another option is that I can change it to private, but to understand that, let's talk a bit about users. The Users tab allows me to see everyone that is a user of my site. If I want to add more users, I can simply invite a user. This gives me the ability to enter their email and then select a role for them, which is either user, which is view only, or admin, which allows them to manage the site with me and make changes. The admin role is a paid feature. You can also perform this user management in the top right icon, as you can see here. Now that we understand our users, it's clear that if the app visibility was on private, only these users would be able to enter my site. Now we can talk about our app name, description, and logo, which is what is seen once we try to share our app and its URL on social media. If we'd like to change any of these, we can do that from the overview by changing the title or description, as you see here, or going to Settings, Logo to change the logo. For the logo, we can either use an image we already have or generate a logo by entering a prompt. And now if we share our site's URL, the changes we made are live. Now if you look at the app settings, the first thing we can change is the main page. This is the landing page, so anyone that clicks on the URL would first land on the page I select, in this case, the About page. We can also see that app visibility is available from here as well. Now let's talk about one of my favorite features, Clone App. This creates an exact copy of your app, so if you like your app the way it is, but want to try out something new, you can create a clone, work on that one, and if you don't like it, you can simply go back to the original. Just so you know, the name will be the name of your original one with copy right after it. Let's return to our original and work on that one. If you wish to delete your app, you can do so with the delete app button, but this cannot be reversed and should not be performed unless you're confident you don't need it. If you wish to learn about backend functions, we have a video dedicated to that. Base44 creates a database for you to store all of your data. You can add data from this page as well, but keep in mind that some fields require specific inputs, like numbers only. If you want to add data more than one row at a time, you can do that through the import action. But keep in mind you should also look at the scheme before you do that. And if you want, I like to export my data before I import, just to make sure my format is correct. Again, if you're mismatching your input with the expected value, it's not going to work. You can also delete data, either with the action at the end of each row, or with the delete all under the actions at the top right. If you'd like to add payments to your site, you can do that with the Stripe integration. You can also set up a custom domain. This can be done by following these steps. Just make sure after you set it up, you click the add domain button. Once you enter your domain, you can try to verify it. And if it's verified, it'll turn green and you can use that domain. The workspace gives you even more options such as controlling permissions from the security tab or viewing analytics. I hope this gave you a better understanding of Base44 and its workspace. If you'd like to see a dedicated video for any topic, please comment that down below. 
Make sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon below to get notifications whenever we post a new video. Have a great day and see you next time.